What's up everybody, my name is John Franco and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Last time we finished episode 3, the Turnabout Samurai episode. And yeah, that was a pretty, pretty crazy chapter. Today, we're going to start Turnabout Goodbyes. It's been what? 15 years? About that, yes. 15 years is a long time to wait. You can't imagine how much I've suffered. You've suffered. But now, the perfect opportunity has presented itself. At last, I shall have my revenge. What? Merry Christmas. <laughs> hey, hey, Nick. Do you know if there are any good waterfalls around here? Waterfalls? Dare I ask why? Duh, Nick, isn't it obvious? I need a waterfall to stand under, preferably a freezing one. Oh, is that part of your spirit medium training? Of course, except I've been sucking up lately. I need to brave the elements and be forged anew under the rushing spring waters. Uh, okay. I don't know about any falls per se, but... Gord Lake is pretty close. Oh, darn. Sorry, but damn is the brakes. I, uh, couldn't you just take a cold shower or something? Good idea! So much for rushing spring waters. Next in the news. A large unidentified animal was sighted at Gord Lake. The town is buzzing with excitement. Locals are calling it Gordy. In a tip of the, uh, of the hat to Nessie, the Loch Ness Monster. Though, its namesake Nessie proved to be a hoax. Locals are com confident their Gordy is the real deal. Uh, boring. Can they show real news for a change? Nay? The water pressure is kind of low in the shower. You want more pressure, huh? Why don't you go down the fire department and have them spray you with the hose? Good idea, Nick! Apparently, Fey Blood is no aid in detecting sarcasm. We interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. Strange occurrences continue at Gord Lake, but this time, it's murder. Gord Lake again? The body of a man was found in the lake early this morning. A suspect was apprehended. Sources inside the police department revealed that the suspect's name is Miles Edward, Edgeworth, age 24. Edgeworth was an up and coming prosecutor. Known for his skills and connection. He was going to get a long and roaring career. Has he thrown it all away? Of course. W what's going on? Edward would never do something like. Nick! <laughs> M Maya! The fireman yelled at me when I called him. We've got bigger, bigger things to work about than that. They arrested Edgeworth. What? You mean the prosecutor? Yeah, he's a suspect. In a murder! What? When? Where? Who? Why? How? I don't know. Let's go find out, Nick. Alright, that's quite the start for a chapter. Gourd Lake Park. This is where it happened. Yeah, Gourd Lake is in the middle of this park. I can see some police walking around in here. Questioning people, probably. Hey, isn't that Detective Gumshoe over there? Well, pal, there's none of us here. Anyone found anything? Sorry, sir, nothing. Idiot, the trial's tomorrow. We need clues on the double. B -b but, sir, there weren't any clues. That's why we arrested that attorney, Mr. Edgeworth. It's clear, sir. He's the one who. Shut up! Just you try saying that again. I'll. I'll. I'll make you sorry if you do. So just. Just get out of my face, pal. Y yes, sir. 
The detective gum shoe is kinda scary today. Recruits. Bleh. Ah! Eek. Hey, you're that Harry guy, Harry Butts. Right, Phoenix Wright. Will he ever learn my name? I just what you're doing here, pal. Investigating? Uh, um, well, yes, I suppose. Well, I'm here to help. Ask me anything you want. Bring it. He seems different than usual. I wonder what's up. Um, Mr. Itrit hasn't actually asked us to defend him yet. Huh? Oh, you don't say. Oof. Did I take shoe? Do you know what happened here? Huh? Oh, you, you don't know, pal? No. Wow, okay. Mr. Head and the fluffy pink clouds lawyer. Head? Huh? Never mind, I'll tell you. It happened last night, about 15 minutes after midnight. There was a boat out on Gord Lake. In that boat were two men. One of those men shot the other with a pistol. And the shooter was Mr. Edgeworth? A couple who arrived on the scene arrested him. How did they get there so fast? Well, there was a witness. When the report when the report came in, we raced too late to the lake. A witness? How about Edgeworth? You don't think Mr. Edgeworth is a murderer, do you? Absolutely not. It's impossible. I don't care if there's a witness either. I don't believe a lick of it. Right. Who cares what the witnesses say? I care. You really believe in him, don't you, detective? Of course I do. But the police are pretty sure he's the killer. Nobody's even really taking this investigation that seriously. But, oh no. After all the hell Mr. Edwards has been to us. Hard to imagine that no one's standing up to take his side. Well, at least you are, detective. At least you are. Do you know who will be Mr. Edgeworth's defense attorney in tomorrow's trial? He hasn't gotten one yet. What? The trial is tomorrow, isn't it? Well, I don't know the whole story. But apparently no one he's been talking to will take the case. Why not? Mr. Edgeworth won't tell me. When you guys showed up, I forgot he'd ask you to defend him. Unfortunately not. Well, pal, you got a job to do. How about Mr. Edgeworth? Prove that badge you wear isn't just some fancy piece of metal. Prove it to me, pal. Show me you're an attorney. Who was this witness? Uh, sorry about that. That's confidential. Anyway, the witness saw everything, apparently. I'm sure they'll turn up at the trial tomorrow. Was there only that one witness? Yep. Uh, it was pretty cold out on the lake last night. And it was Christmas Eve, after all. Still, we're being thorough. You never know when you're going to turn up in another witness. That's why we're here today, checking things out. So far, we've come up empty. Oh, it's Christmas today. I'd forgotten. What are you getting for Christmas? Uh, for uh, what are you getting me for Christmas, Nick? Dog Santa. <laughs> oh man. Now let's go to the detention center. You know, Nick. We've all been in here one time or another, haven't we? I guess it comes with the territory. Not sure it's something uh, we should mention to many peoples. Ah! Hey, Edgeworth, come back! What are you doing here, Nick? I don't think he's a very good in a very good mood. Well, he is in detention. Were you in a good mood uh, when you were here? So, you've come to laugh at the falling attorney. Then laugh. Laugh. Well, why aren't you laughing? Nick, should we be laughing? Nah, it's a trick. Laugh and he'll get mad. Or burst into tears. Edgeworth, we don't have so much free time. We can spend it coming down here to laugh at you. Yes, you do. Actually, he's right. <laughs> God damn it. I hope you wouldn't, I hope you wouldn't come. I didn't want you to see me. Not like this. I didn't want to see you like this, either. 
believe me. What happened? Edgeworth, tell me what happened. Why should I? What are you going to do about it? Duh! We're, we're going to help you, that's what! Help me, you! Don't be ridiculous. Sorry? You're a novice. You've only been in three trials. Hey! Sure, you got lucky and won all three. But your luck's bound to run out someday. You need real skill, right? Experience. Nick! He's insulting you, Nick! Who is the one who has to get angry? The murder took place at Gord Lake, correct? Yes. Like last night. The lake is a long, a long way from your offices and the courthouse. Why were you down there? I see no need to tell you. Mr. Edgeworth! You... You didn't really... Gordy. Hmm? I went to see Gordy. Gordy? What's that? I'll... I'll tell you later. Oh, Andrew, Edgeworth, talk to us. Um... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Present. Your attorney's badge. Edgeworth. Let me defend you. <laughs> Good one, right? But I'm not that uh, that hard up. Not yet. What do you mean by that? Me? Just a wet behind the ears lawyer, only three trials under his belt? Never. What? My case is near hopeless, right? Every defense attorney I've talked to has turned me down. What? Could be put, they were afraid they'd lose. It occurred to me that it might be my fault that they lack confidence. After all, I did get every single one of their clients declared guilty. I don't believe it. Regardless, I don't want you involved in this. You, you in particular, I cannot ask you to do this. Edwards, this is really hard for me to ask, but you didn't do it, right? Right? Think what you will. I have only one request. Huh. Stay out of this case. Why? But Nick is trying to help you! I know. I know that. But I don't want your help, okay? Why not? Look, just go away and leave me alone. Nick. Mr. Edgeworth stated, didn't he? Maya, let's go investigate elsewhere. But Nick! Alright. Is it true? No one will take Mr. Edwards' case? Yeah. He's a bit of a celebrity. If you defended him and lost your reputation, be sure to suffer. What's more, the case against him is, well, it's pretty solid. I suppose it would be if they had a witness. Hey pal! Don't tell me you're going to turn your back on him too! Remember the Steel Samurai case? Mr. Edgeworth helped you get your client declared innocent. I... I know! I went to Edgeworth. I tried. He really doesn't want us to represent him. Especially not us, he said. What?! Well, that doesn't make any sense, pal. You should have heard him talking about you after that trial. He kept saying, right, 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 over and over. Nick? I'm not sure that's a good sign. Neither am I. <laughs> Why wouldn't he want your help? I don't get it. Detective, Detective Gumshoe, sir. What? Find something? Uh, no, sir. Not yet. But there was a call from the precinct. They want to hold the investigation briefing. A briefing? R right, I'm off. Oh. Sorry, pal. I guess you're hurt. I gotta go. And the last thing you want to ask me about before I head back? You're not coming back, Detective? Um, probably not, pal. So, what should we do if we have something to talk to you about? Ah, right. Here, I'll show you how to get, uh, to get to the precinct. Come down and see me anytime. The address to the police station received from Detective Gumshoe. Oh, hey, Detective Gumshoe. 
What? Um, we'd like to take a look around the, in the park. Can we walk around? Yeah, no problem, pal. You got my permission. You know, Nick, I think there's something to be said uh, for talking to people when they're busy. Yeah, they don't have time to think about not giving you information. Alright, now let's get investigating. Alright. The public beach. Wowzers! This is Gordnik? Yep. I'm not sure it weren't the uh, Wowzers, though. Hmm, probably not. But hey, look at that snack stand. Samurai dogs? I want a samurai dog, please. I mean, they're great. Wait, the name like samurai dog? How could they not be? They're a little behind the times, though. The kids are all into the pink princess now. I mean, like, you know. Nope. Uh. Huh? S someone left some poppers here. You know, you pull the string and it goes pop. Yeah, I know the ones. You send a lot of new years. Hey Nick, they might have they might be a clue. Let's take them. Come on, admit it. You just want to pop them, right? Was it that obvious? Poppers. Hmm. I suppose it couldn't part. Huh? Where did it go? Into my pocket. <laughs> ah, he's such a goofball. A hot dog stand. It's closed. The Christmas fr uh, fringe looks a little half baked. The brother reads Samurai Dogs. Somebody needs to re <laughs> redecorate. Wow, Gordlick is really big. Yeah. Hey Nick, why is he called Gordlick? Oh. Well, a long time ago, they used to grow gourds here. Sorry, I'm drinking water. <laughs> well, no way. Well, sure it was because the leg looked like a gourd when viewed from from above. You know, like an hourglass shape. Well, it is shaped like a gourd actually, but that's just a coincidence. Oh, okay. <laughs> what? That's so weird. Um, let's go bubble top up, I guess. Nick, what is this place? A bulk rental shop? Close for Christmas, it seems. I guess a murder taking place on one of the boats won't be good for business either. Boats? I've never ridden on a boat. Really? Well, how about we go out uh, on one when the trial is finished? Hey, good idea. You bet. Um, small boat rental shop. Doesn't look like anyone is around. They're probably closed because it's Christmas. There are some boats pulling at the dock. Was one of these boats used in a murder? I wonder. Nick? Huh? I changed my mind. I don't really want to go for a boat ride. Okay. The, the woods? I like it here, Nick. Look, someone's camping. They got guts camping at the scene of a murder. Hey, hey, Nick! If they were camping here last night, they might know something about the murder. That's true. Good call, Maya. Let's go talk to him. Um... Hey, Nick. What? Don't tell me you're hungry again. No, no. I was just wondering, why are camping pots and pans made of aluminium? They didn't talk about that in any of the law books. So there's no law saying they have to be made out of aluminium then. I'm not having this conversation. <laughs> this SUV has, be has seen better days. It's dented all over. I can't believe anyone would drive their, uh, their car down here. The sign says no camping. Funny place to pick up uh, to pitch your tent. Wait, what if the sign said no setting tents on fire? I don't think they have signs like that. Oh. 
Weird. There's food and some magazines on the sheet. It takes a, a pretty tough skin to camp in, in this cold. There's a camera. This guy's camera has a uh, mic and some sort of attachment. It must take pictures when uh, when triggered by a noise. Wow, cool! Let's try it out. <laughs> Hi, I'm Nick. Maybe it's not saying. Maybe I'm not singing it loud enough. Hey, I'm Nick. Huh? Nick! Will you stop that? Maybe it's broken. Don't kick it. Maybe it isn't set to respond to voices. Well, what then? These things? The party poppers. Well, it responded. Yo! Hey you! Get your hands off that! Hey! Over in the Sam Hill! Look what you're down now! There goes a whole roll of film! Uh, what? Huh? Sorry! Sorry it's nice, but it don't pay my bills! You all know how much a roll of that film costs? Uh, I'll pay you back. What are y'all thinking setting up a party pooper in a place like this? Uh, well... What? Don't try to play stupid with me just because you think I'm some country pumpkin. Yeah, I know how y'all yanks think. I'd say those southern folks talk with that exaggerated drawl. Why must it be mo uh, Why they must be dumb? Well, let me tell you, just because I might be dumb, don't mean we all are. Hello. And who are you now? Her chaperone? Yeah, no, rather, uh, we're sort of uh, friends. Just figure out what y'all are gonna say and say for bejesus' sake. God, I'd rather sit through one of Papa's rolls than listen to you start all day. Oh boy. Guess we should pay her for the film. Watch it! Yes, ma'am. Take a note. I'll pay you later. I'm really sorry. Um, what? Can't just keep changing the film on my camera here? Someone, I'm not naming any names, but someone used up a whole roll! Sorry! I wonder if I have anything that would, that would uh, get her attention. Um, what? Uh, this, I, uh, this is my badge. Huh? Iron badge supposed to be all shiny and impressive? You're a cop or something? Um, I'm a lawyer. W what? You're not gonna try and pull one of them lawsuits on me over that field now. Cause I have you know, I'm a fighter and I rustle the meaners looking things on you. Uh, no, that's not it at all. We're here investigating a murder that took place here on the lake. A, a murder? Sounds cool! Why didn't y'all say that from the first place? Go ahead, ask me anything you like! Finally, a cooperation. You two, y'all can see, can come out of hiding out. I won't bite hard. Come to think of it, where did mine get to? So sorry. I'm just feeling a little overwhelmed. The culture gap and all. Never you mind, hon. Kinda of talk yank for you if, <laughs> if it pleases you. Thanks, I think I'll be okay. Great then, I'm Lotta, Lotta Hart, but y'all can, can call me Lotta. I'm here photographing meteor showers for a research project. Mighty pleased to meet you. Oh yeah, when was the murder anyway? I ain't seen much television lately. It happened late in the night on Christmas Eve. That's so, Christmas Eve. A man on the boat was shot. Did you see anything? Well, let me see. Both just say. I reckon I might have seen one. Not sure though. Y'all gotta remember, I've been watching this this here lake for a good three days now. I see enough boats to chuck a mule. Kind of hard to remember which I've seen even. So what is it you do, Lotta? Huh? Me? Y'all don't really know. Uh, Y'all don't really want to know that, do you? Actually, I'm research. I'm a research student at Country U, right in the heart of the heartland. Wow, neat, Nick. She's a research student at University Country U. Uh, so I heard. So I hear. 
So, when did you come up here? Um, let me see, I guess... It was about three days ago? What are you, photograph? Yeah, not tell y'all that already? Meteors! Yep, meteor showers. Fine stars. That's quite the camera you have there. Y'all better know it. It's German made, a genuine soul game. Is that the word they make knives? Um so what's the device you have stuck on the uh, to the camera? Huh? Device. Your camera went up all by itself when I fired my party pooper. Party party popper, sorry. <laughs> oh that 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 mic triggers the starter whenever it picks a certain sound. It's programmed to keep up loud noises right now. A programmable camera? Neat! Lotus camera added to a crook record. Um Is that it? So your camera it triggers on loud explosion noises? Yep. Actually, the victim in the case we're researching was shot with a pistol. A pistol? Right. Now, wouldn't a gunshot make a similar noise to our party popper? I guess it would. Your camera didn't get a picture of the murder, did it? Hey! Y'all are pretty bright. Huh? I see what you're saying. Tell you what, I'll have to look as a look-see at my film. Would be, uh, would have been a photo taken late last night. I checked them once, don't remember there was anything on them though. But what if I got something? I could be a witness or a journey murder. Yeehaw! I'll go check that film. Y'all come back now. Here! <laughs> she went inside her SUV. Guess we should come back later. And is there something in the boat? Nothing. I guess we could go... Criminal Affairs? I guess the dude Gumshu is still in that meeting. Thanks for coming down, pal. De Detective Gumshu! We just finished the meeting. For better or for worse. I had the feeling we're in for, in for some bad news. The victim. Do you know anything about the victim yet? No, no, still can't ID him. Has Mr. Edward said anything? Not a word. So, how did the meeting go? Can't tell you, pal. You're a liar. True. You know, I don't know what to believe anymore. Sure, Mr. Edward's human like you or me. Still, I get a feeling that if he'd done something wrong, he wouldn't go hiding it. That's just the kind of guy he is. Why can't anyone else see that? So they think that Mr. Edgeworth did it? Well, the trial is starting tomorrow, as scheduled. Let's see. Um, hey, in the end, you did tell us about the meeting. Don't go telling anyone else, pal. Yes, sir. And do me a favor. Stand by Mr. Edgeworth. He needs help. You're the ones to help him. I'm sure he's got some reason why he won't talk to us. Thanks, Detective Gumshoe. Detective Gumshoe? How come you trust Mr. Edward so much? I think that was obvious. We got strong working relationship, us two. We trust each other and that's how it works. A working relationship? See, Mr. Edgeworth always gets his defendant Clicker guilty every time. Yeah, his methods might be a little extreme at times. But there's a reason. He trusts our investigation, see? He trusts us to get the right man. That's why I work hard, extra hard, pal. We've got to earn that, tr that trust he places, up, he places in us. I see. Mr. Edgeworth is a man you can trust. And you have my word on that. I was wondering, did you ever get that autopsy report? Oh, that? Yeah, I made a copy for you. Time of death, something, sometime on the 24th or 25th. Cause one bullet shot to the heart. 
Thank you. Nick? Can you show me that photo of the victim? That face. Someone you know? I don't know. I just have this feeling that I met him somewhere a long time ago. Okay, nothing here. What is it? Oh, nothing. Just something's been bothering me. Could you show me that autopsy report once more? Hey, I, I remember now. This guy. He's a lawyer that was at that office me I worked at. I met him once when I went there to hang out with Sis. A office? Wait. You mean Grossberg offices? Right, that guy. That was the last name I expected to come up. Maybe we should go ask to him. Uh, maybe I should go ask. Should go talk to him. Jeez, for all time six. And the painting is still not there. Okay. It's been a while since I was last uh, here last. Mr. Grossberg is out as usual. Hey Nick, look at the wall. The painting is still missing. Mia must have known about the deal with Mr. Gross with Mr. Grossberg and Red White. She kept track of all of white extortion and blackmail rackets. A table for claims. Hmm. And I can able in case okay, I already read that. Why is the wall there a different color? Big painting was hanging there until recently. Huh? What happened to it? Um, well, he gave it to someone. I give it to I bet he gave it to some romantic interest. Love blooms eternal, Nick. Uh, yeah. <laughs> hey. Nothing here. There's something new. No. You have the picture. I think she had. She does. Hey, y'all. Lara. Wait a sec. We got a bingo. Bingo. My automatic camera took two pictures last night. Hey. This is them. Take a look. Wait. See? See? He's shooting him with that pistol. It looks like that, yes. But you can't really tell. Who but you can't really tell who that is shooting. Yeah, well, there was enough fog out there last night to bring a bullfrog. But you know, seeing these photos remind me of something. What? I saw the murder happen. I'm a witness. What? Uh, are you serious? Of course. How do you forget? Never mind. Y'all reckon I should tell the cops? Um. I reckon so? I reckon so. What's that? Now don't y'all go try to mark my accent. I'm a sensitive lady. Hey, so I must talk to the cops. Y'all can have this photo. Later! Whoa, wait, Lara. What? Can y'all see I'm kinda busy? Tell us tell us what you saw too, please. That's right, honey, but I wasn't born yesterday. I'm witness, and that means I'm on the side of justice, and that means the cops. I I'd sooner eat the south side of North Mount Skunk than tell you. L -l -l Don't let it get to your skivvies in a in a bunch. Friends today, enemies tomorrow. Or was the other or was that the other way around? No matter, I'm gone. Hey, maybe they'll get me to do some testifying. Oh, darn. She left. Well, that's one more witness. What do we do now, Nick? Well, she saw something. There's not much we can do about it. The question is, what exactly did she see? I guess we will find out in the trial tomorrow. Looks like the police have given up their interviewing. Hey! 
Ah! Nick, I think Santa is mad at you. I'm time to see you, Nick. Nick, you know Santa? Wow, Nick and... See, Nick. Hey, I see the connection. Don't be ridiculous. Dude, it's me. Larry? What are you doing here? Isn't it obvious? I work in my day job. I sell samurai dogs. Want one? Gotta get money for dates, you know? My girl, uh, my girl, Kianse, deserved the best. Kianse? Not another one, not another model, I hope. Oh, Kianse is a fine, fine woman, Nick. It was her idea that I wear this costume. She was like, yo, uh, she was all, uh, she, <laughs> damn it, I can't speak. She was all, you go, girlfriend, you know? She bought this costume for me. That, that's great, Larry. Wow, a scent of costume. She must be really nice. <laughs> wow, cute. Nick, who's she? She's not your, not my, what? No, no, she's not. I'm his partner, Maya Faith. I'm a, the little sister. Sister. Wow, Nick, must be tough. Working nine to five, having to take care of a little sister. No, I'm not Nick's sister, my older sister's. I'm my older sister's little sister. Huh? Ah, sounds great. Don't worry, Maya, he's not listening. This doofus, what happened? Hey, Larry. There was a murder here last night. And since you work here, have you heard anything? Nick, you're wasting your time. Last night was Christmas Eve. He was with Kianse, obviously. Wouldn't really have been sending you out there in the cold. Oof. I think what you said just got <laughs> caught him off guard, Maya. Uh, no, it's just... Kianse is not in town right now. She, she's in Hawaii on a photo shoot. A model, I knew it. Well, anyway, there was a murder here on the lake. There are trials tomorrow. Huh? Neat. The defendant is Edgeworth. Miles Edgeworth. Um, Nick. Why would Larry, why would Larry know Edgeworth? Whoa, Nick! You don't mean that Miles Edgeworth. Old Edgy? Because he's Edgy? Yeah, he's a murder suspect. W whoa, murder? Huh? You know Mr. Edgeworth, Larry? Yeah, of course. Edgy was in the same class as us in grade school. What? Um, uh, um, tell me about the dogs. Huh? Oh, you mean the samurai dogs? Why are they samurai dogs? I, I mean, they kind of look gourd shaped. Oh, well, originally they were gourd dogs. You know, like guard dogs. Ouch. The summary thing was uh, Kianse's idea. Oh, she's my woman, you know. She was all, change name and you go, girlfriend. She made me that banner. Man, the kids can get enough of those samurai dogs. Um, something about that just seems wrong. Oh, and guess what? We're getting a ton of customers here at the lake. What with the big news? The big news? Yeah, Gordy. Gordy? So, Mr. Edward was your classmate, Larry? Yeah, Nick, him, and I used to hang out all the time. Wow, I, I never knew. Don't get me wrong, he's always been kind of a stick in the mud. Sitting all the time, trying to be like a father. Like his father? Yeah, Edgy's pop was a famous defense lawyer back in the day. Wow, wait, you said defense lawyer? Yeah. Wait a second, but Mr. Edwards is a prosecuting attorney. What? edgy has got a proboscis? <laughs> a proboscis on his knee? No, he's a prosecuting attorney. That's like the total opposite of a defense lawyer. Huh, go figure. He always used to talk about defending the weak, who were unable to defend themselves. Man, he used to go on and out. Uh, on about men's duty to society and all that. What a bore. I wonder what changes his mind though. Do you know Nick? Nick? Um, what's Gordy? Huh? You mean you don't know? 
It's here, in this very, like, a giant mysterious monster. Gordy! A, a monster? Yeah. Check it out! This is an article from yesterday's newspaper. There's a photo! Wow, it, it's really real! <clears throat> Nick! A, a monster! A, a real monster! Um, uh, yeah. It's probably just a log or something, right? Hey, there's a quote here from the person who took the photo. Um, what's this? I set the camera to automatic and when we got into the frame, I heard a loud bang like an explosion. Followed by the sound of something slipping into the water. I wish I could have seen it. Why would there be a sound like an explosion? Larry? Could I borrow this article from you? Sure, no problem. That'll be one million dollars. One million? Grow up, Larry. Uh... Uh, oh yeah, she's not there anymore. Um... Is there something here? Nope. Alright, so let's move back to the entrance. And I guess... Go back here? Yeah. Not a gumshoe in sight. If you're looking for the thick gumshoe, he's in the questioning room. Apparently an important witness turned up. He'll be in there in a while. A lot of heart. It has to be. Uh oh. I think we can talk to him. Yeah, this is the chief of the detectives here. He's glued to his computer screen. W what? Good late. Good decided. I don't believe it. Shouldn't you be reading something more important? That was one of the detectives. He's mumbling uh, something to himself. Moving the crowd. Wear a drop close. Never enter the target's field of vision. He must be doing image training for healing. Uh, Hey, is that the police department mascot? That's the blue badger. It was my idea. I made it. It's my mascot. I see. How nice. I'll get him a sign. I'll get him a sign mascot of the criminal affairs department. If it's the last thing I do. Um. Good luck. All right. I guess we can only go by here. Maybe he's back. <coughs> ah, that old familiar clearing of the throat. <laughs> you're me as something, are you not? I was her other study, yes, Phoenix Wright. Haha, <laughs> and you, you're me as something too, are you not? Her little sister, yes. You've grown. You've come to look like your sister, you know? It takes me back. Ah, the days of my youth. Like the scent of fresh lemon, you see. Um, Mr. Grossberg, sir. Mm hmm? Ah, yes, I beg your pardon. Of course you came here to discuss something. What is it then? Something in the murder? What happened? There was a murder last night. A murder? You haven't heard? I uh, just got up, you see. Well, Maisel Edward shot someone with a pistol. <laughs> what? Who, who did the shoot? Well, the identity of the victim is still unknown. This is terrible news, indeed. I guess he hadn't heard anything. Uh, Mr. Grossberg, whatever happened to that painting? Oh, yes. I do not think it shall ever be coming back home to this office. I can't exactly claim it as stolen. I suppose it's my just dessert. All bitter desserts. Alright. Um... Err, uh, my apologies. I'm not sure I can help you with that. Okay, what about this one? So, this is the moment the crime took place, eh? Yes. You can't really say for sure that's Edward. I'm not sure whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. Not sure at all. So, this camera on, on the lake takes a photo whenever it hears an explosion sound. That's what she said. And it just happened to be set up on the beach. Pointing out to the lake. Yes, she said she was. Other, she was to photograph shooting stars. Hmm, shooting stars, explosions. What's the connection? 
I'd be suspicious of this witness of yours. Hmm, strange. I feel as though I've seen this man somewhere before. Oh! Do you remember? He was a lawyer, here, in my office. That's Hammond. Robert Hammond. Uh, Mr. Hammond? And you say this is the man my actual shot? Oh. Who is this Hammond guy, anyway? Mr. Hammond. He wanted to pencil for me in this case, in that case. In that case? Yes, the DL6 uh, incident. DL6? Why does that sound so familiar? Perhaps you remember. I'm sure someone mentioned it during the trial of me as murder. That was the incident where the police were so at loss they used spirit medium. Wait, you don't mean... Was that medium my mother? Yes, my dear. The spirit medium, Misty Fairy. Your mother contacted the spirit of the victim. But the case was a loss. No conviction was made. The DL6 incident, yes. Been 15 years ago. A very strange case indeed. They never caught the criminal, right? Correct. Misty Faye used her powers to talk to the spirit of the late victim. Her testimony led to charges being laid against one man. But Mr. Hamon won the case and the suspect was declared innocent. And the police blame my mother calling her fraud. You were the one who helped her out, right, Mr. Grossberg? Uh, yes, yes, quite. Thank you. Uh, no, please. D don't mention it. Deal 6. Never thought I heard that name again. But wait. What does that case have to do with, with Mr. Edgeworth? It was everything to do with Mr. Edgeworth, my dear. The victim in the Deal 6 incident was none other than his father, Gregory Edgeworth. What? His father? If you want to know more, you should ask him yourself. Show him this. I'm sure he'll talk to you. Wait, this is a photo of my mother. Missy Faye's photo added to the court record. Hmm. This is interesting. What's this? I was hoping you'd gotten my message the first time. Edgeworth, what about your defense? No, got certain a few words. Guess he hasn't found anyone, anyone yet. Can I ask you about the murder? Right. I'll ask you again, just leave me alone. Please try to understand. I'm not doing this to prove my I'm tough, or because I look down on you. I just don't want you anywhere near this case, understand? Why did you go to Gourd Lake? No intentions of telling you. Nor apparently would you tell Detective Gumshoe. Detective Gumshoe was really worried about you. <sighs> Alright, Edgeworth, you're being a little too edgy for my taste. Edgeworth? It's been a matter of hours since you last visited, yet you've made incredible progress in your investigation. I'll admit it, I'm impressed, right? You were always single-minded in your work. Once you start on something, you always see it through, don't you? How about the DL6 incident? Right, DL6. I didn't want you to find out about it. That's why I refused your offer to defend me. I'm sorry if I sounded like I thought you weren't up to the job. I just wanted to keep you away from DL6. So, do you still think it would have been better for me to stay away? I don't know. But, I see no point in hiding anything from you now. Very well. Ask whatever you like, and it will answer to the best of my abilities. The DL6 incident when my father w was when my father died. Right before my eyes, he was shot and killed, and I saw it all. My memories from that time are foggy. I suppose it's a self-defense mechanism. In any case, a suspect was arrested. A man. It's very clear he was the only one who could have killed my father. The spirit medium they used to talk to my late father said the same thing. 
It was an attorney by the name of Robert Hammond that cleared the suspect's name. And Hammond is the victim in the Gordley murder? Correct. Um, that's free medium. That was my mom. What? You mean you're... Strange. I thought that terrible incident was about to end, and now this. What to end? The DL6 incident happened 15 years ago. 15 years ago, on December 28th. December 28th? That of limitation on a case runs out in 3 days. What? Um, what does that mean? When a case statute of limitation runs out legally, the case never happened. Three days from now, the deal, si the deal six will be closed for forever. What happened to the suspect, the, the one who got innocent? I don't know. It's not clear from public view. Nobody knows where to. If he's still alive, he'd be about 50 years old now. I guess I can't understand why he keep going to hiding. It'd be hard to live a normal life after being murder suspect in such a big case. Um, so, was your father a lawyer? He was. Gregory Etchworth. He was quite famous at the time, apparently. So, you were sort of trying to follow in his footsteps? I'd rather really not talk about it. Oh. Edgeworth, uh, okay, yeah. Ah, uh, okay. Let's show this. Your attorney's badge. I can say I really want to see one of those right now. Okay. <laughs> Who would have thought there'd be a photo? Edgeworth, did you shoot him? What do you think, right? I don't think you're the kind of... You're the kind to point a gun at anyone. No. So you didn't shoot him? No, I didn't. It wasn't me. Right. It pains me to ask you this now. I know, you want us to defend you. Yes, will you? Of course! You're my boy! Ah. Who could have guessed this day would come? Not me. This is my chance to finally pay you back. Pay him back? Pay me back. For what? I don't remember ever doing anything for you. Never mind, I guess you don't really need to know. Huh. My letter of request. Please give it to, 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 to Detective Gumshoe. Well, I guess we, we, we should. What's that? Earthquake? Nick? It's a big one! Whoa! It's coming down! Oh, that was scary! Huh? Where's Edgeworth? There! He's on the floor! In a ball, shivering. I guess he doesn't do so well with earthquakes. I heard a frowning bit curling up in a ball. Well, I guess we're done. Mr. Edgeworth doesn't seem like he's going to stand up anytime soon. Let's go, Nick. Uh, right. We have to give Edgeworth letter letter of request to Detective Gumshoe. Wow. Um. Okay. Because I remember what happens later in the. Like in the chapter, I don't want to spoil, but wow, that's like I, I, I'm just just going to show it. It's kind of fascinating. Uh, I just realized something. Uh, I'm just going to shut up and I'll explain later. What's going on here? Eek! What's wrong, detective? This one lady comes in here just a while ago. She says to talk to y'all after. She came to talk to y'all after hearing what Miss Wright had to say. What's this about, pal? Not a heart. Why are you going why are you going around finding more witnesses? You want to give Mr. Edward a death sentence, pal? No, 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 not at all. I just I mean, she did see something. There's nothing I can do about that. I can't go around covering up evidence. Ugh. You're trying to say something about the way I do my job? No, sir. So, uh, what did Miss Hart say? She says she saw Mr. Edgeworth fire the pistol. What? He even had a photograph to prove it. Right, I saw it too. But you really can't tell from the photo who it is shooting. That's why she said she is going to enlarge the photot. She said it dropped the quality a mite, but 
should let us see who is who. She can do that? Okay, so there's going to be a, an, an enlarged photograph at, uh, that shows Edgeworth in the act. Great, just great. In any case, she's going to be the one testifying tomorrow. Huh, what happened to the other witness? Well, apparently there was a cancellation. A cancellation? I'm afraid tomorrow is going to be a life or death for poor Mr. Edgeworth. We got a witness who says she saw the very moment of, a, of the murder. And we got a photo thing the sh uh, when the shot rang out. I'd say that sounds like a pretty unwinnable case. But wait, what did Mia used to say? If he's innocent, there's got to be something I've overlooked. Sounds like Mr. Edwards is going to ask the state to assign a public defender. I was just asked to file the paperwork. But it's still got time, pal. Go talk to him again, for me, please. You have to convince him. You have to make him let you defend him, please. I know you're the only one who can do it, pal. You're the only one who can save Mr. Edgeworth. Alright, chill, 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 chill. I got your papers here. Look what I got. You did it, pal. I'm glad I waited till the last minute to file those papers. I've read them up and start the new ones for you. Thanks, Detective. Well, see you in court. Tomorrow, then. Good luck, pal. You guys feel that earthquake a little while back? I was worried. Worried? We're fine. I've played all here my whole, my whole life. I'm pretty used to them by now. Oh, I wasn't worried about you two. I was worried about Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, right. He did seem to overreact a little now that you mention it. Yeah, well, I'm not surprised. It was a pretty big quake. I'm going to go check on it. You have to go eat and get your rest for tomorrow's trial. Later. I don't know what, what's with uh, Mr. Edgeworth and earthquakes. I wonder. I was never that scared of them when uh, he was in school. Huh. Then again, I only really got to know him in the fourth grade. He transferred to another school after that. I wonder what happened to Edgeworth. To be continued. Holy crap, that's almost one hour. Holy crap. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye!